Corporation has uh, been, um, you know, operational in India for over about 60 years. And um, uh, the businesses that we are into, we are a multi, um, you know, multi services provider. And the businesses that we, pr the services that we provide is relocation services. So these are mobility services across the world. That's what we do. And, um, and then we do uh, cash management, where we basically uh, top up cash for ATMs. Mm -hmm. And uh, another business that we have is the records management business. And uh, primarily, it's, it's the information management business, where we keep physical records of, uh, you know, for organizations, for, cor for corporates. Mm -hmm. And we also do digitization of these records. So, um, uh, I mean, as an organization, we employ over about 5,000 people. Mm -hmm. We have 2 million uh, square feet of warehousing space, which is actually a state of art technology is what we have. And um, you know we are present in over about 275 cities in India. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, for the relocations business, we are, uh, you know, we've been there for 60 years, and uh, we have our offices in India, in the Middle East countries, which is uh, uh, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Bahrain, Oman, Qatar, and we are present in Singapore. So basically, if you look at it, um, um, you know, we work with corporates. And these are uh, primarily multinationals and large uh, Indian conglomerates that we work with. And uh, these are relationships that we've developed over the years. And uh, what we do is we work along with uh, you know, the HR, the admin, the procurement people in an organization. And um, the actual service is provided to the end consumer. So you, know, you, could be, um, you could be moving, relocating to say from Delhi to the US, right, to New York. And um, we would have our people who would come in, do a survey of your house, and um, um, you know, and then we would pack everything, uh, and we would move you to your home in the U.S. So that's the service that we provide. It looks simple, uh, you know. However, it's important to mm. manage the complete process because the consumer, at that point of time, right. you're completely stressed out, you know with the moving piece and how will it move. Mm -hmm. You could be in a new job, the full family could be moving. So emotionally, you go through a lot. And what, what we do is we take the stress away. As, as you know, and, um, and uh, you know, as an organization, uh, every individual who works in the company, right, um, uh, we are sensitized to premium quality. And that's what we stand for. Because most of the time, the moves that we are doing are uh, primarily senior management, uh, you know, uh, right. people that we are moving, and um, they have high expectations, and we set those as benchmarks for ourselves, right? So quality, I would say, akin to where we would like to be is Six Sigma quality. I would say that um, you know it's important to find the right talent, right? And what I mean by that is, um, you know, capability is one thing. Competency is one thing, but it has to be a fit with the organizational culture. So, you know, whatever are the values that drive an organization, it's important that the people that are hired into an organization, um, you know, the value sets need to match. So, I think that's something that organizations need to look at, right? Whether, um, you know, and simple things like what's the family background? And inside of the family background, there's a lot that you can look at. Right and um, um, you know education, um, all of those things which make up the value of an individual. You know we hear so much about uh, the Gen Z, right? The Gen Y and the Gen Z. I still believe that they have a value system, right? And inside of that value system, mm -hmm. right? We 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 need to look for those values and hire these people. Well, my my um, you know what. Um, what I would say is the fact that um, you know we have new leadership, right. and um, uh, what I believe, I believe in the leadership, right? I believe in the leadership of the country uh, now, and uh, you know because there's been demonstration that uh, um, you know, and that's a personal opinion. Mm -hmm. It's it's a personal opinion that um, you know Mr. Modi has done a fabulous job in Gujarat, and um, you know he's actually run it like a CEO. Right, and if you look at it, what he's done, the first few things that he did in a month was understand his people, understand the organization, reduce the span of control to 25 people, right, and give certain ministries to these people. 
who will be able to deliver results? And that's exactly what he did even in case of um, the HRD. You know, he brought that function under one particular person, consolidation, and then looking at what are the policies and what needs to be done. So my sense is that we will see, we will see progress. So if you look at it from a USP perspective, um, we, uh, we, I would say we are paranoid about quality, right? right? We, for us, quality is, uh, you know, service excellence and quality. These are the two, uh, two things that we really believe in. We deliver on this, and that's what makes us writer, right? We believe in relationships, and um, you know, from a customer um, lifetime uh, value, right? Customer retention. Uh, we we've seen that that uh, that's that's high. That's really at the highest level. And um, from a, a future perspective, we believe in growth, and uh, we are looking at that. 